Uh, thank you, uh, Presiding Officer, and I, like others, welcome uh, this bill and uh, anticipate its passage uh, come decision time. Um, burials and cremations are, of course, uh, a very important part of most people's lives. Um, we will make individual decisions about what we want to happen uh, after our own deaths, but it is for those who come after uh, to discharge them. Uh, for my part, I hope there is neither a burial uh, nor, in particular, a cremation. It would be awfully nice if my pals got together and celebrated uh, a little bit of my life, uh, perhaps. Uh, but I'm in a tiny minority who, who wishes my remains to be disposed of uh, for the benefit uh, of anybody who can find anything useful to do uh, with them. And, of course, different societies make different decisions. I visited uh, the remains of Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov, uh, in Red Square in 1972. I visited the embalmed remains of Mao Zedong uh, in Beijing in 1978. But in our culture, the history has been that burials are the important thing, with cremations following on rather later. And the important thing is that it gives those who are left behind to grieve uh, a sense of connection to a place. And that seems to be the most important thing. Uh, that there is around this. That's why it's very important that part of the bill uh, makes it a legal duty on the local authorities to publish where people are buried. Uh, that enables that sense of connection uh, to be continued over the generations, uh, if that's what we want. Uh, for my own part, uh, because of my genealogical research I've done over 50 years, um, I'm still discovering connections to place. It's only been three years since I discovered that one of my father's cousins actually died in Queensbury House. It was in 1970 when she died. It was actually a nursing home, so that wasn't uh, particularly uh, unreasonable. So therefore, I have that connection and, and find that interesting. And in the last year, I've discovered three members of my extended family who are actually buried in the new Carlton uh, Kirkyard out the back. And that sense of connection uh, is what we're, important, what we're discussing in this bill. And in looking at the issue of ashes, and in particular uh, those of uh, the youngsters or those who have not survived uh, to be born, there's a particular poignancy associated with those remains, their disposal, and the connection of those who experience loss to the location uh, of where those remains uh, will end up. And I think this bill does a great deal uh, to set a future where people will not suffer the emotional turmoil that they suffered in the past. Let me uh, congratulate Leslie Brennan, uh, our most recent uh, member of the Parliament, for persuading the government to accept her amendment. Um, having spent quite a few years in opposition, I know that's not the easiest of things to achieve. Uh, so I think she deserves our congratulation. But then that just simply illustrates uh, that uh, if sensible things are brought forward, the option is always there to persuade people. And at the other end of the scale, the mother of the house departs us shortly. Um, I've sat beside uh, uh, Nanette Milne at many occasions when she, she hasn't felt at her most comfortable. I think in particular when she's deputised for Alec Johnson at farmers' events. I felt her discomfort. I see her nodding slightly, so that's certainly true. Uh, but the fact that she's done so, I think, shows how she's never shrinked from undertaking the duties that come uh, with elected office. And like others, I wish her uh, well in what we will describe as retirement, but I suspect uh, more properly it uh, should simply be another part uh, of her life. Uh, finally, uh, presiding officer, I made reference uh, at a previous stage of life, and this is something we have to deal with when we consider succession, uh, that one of the enduring mysteries for me in all this is that I can decide how my house is to be disposed of, the money in my bank account, my possessions. But as the person who might be newly deceased, I have no say over the disposal of my remains. That is utterly left uh, to my relatives. And I think that is unfinished business in this policy area. 
uh, although, of course, it is always an area where there is checks and balances and difficulties uh, to be consider con uh, considered uh, when we look at that, uh, presiding officer.